All right, guys. So today we're gonna be doing an Angelique Boyer makeup look that she wore. I believe it's like the Lion Grimes or something. And this is the look here. It's really simple. As you can see, it's really pretty. I love it. I love the way it looks. So let's get started, guys. The first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna take this color right here, and I'm gonna link all the colors down below. Uh, this light color as well. Um, um, like I said, I'm gonna write them all down below, and you're gonna write right you're gonna put this all over your lid and make sure your lid is primed as you can see mine is already primed so I'm just covering the color on my lid it's just a very light color I'm using a flat shader brush nothing really fancy about it then I'm gonna take a brown and like a cranberry color she used a lot of these colors on her eyes most of the time and um, in the next clip you'll see I'm gonna use this color from CoverGirl as well and I'm using all three at once just to get the right shade that I want And as you can see here, I'm just kind of carving it into the eye, giving myself the shape that I want. As you can see in her picture, it was just um, kind of smoked out on the edges. Now I'm taking that dark purple again, just by itself, and really, really giving the eye some contrast. Here in this clip, I'm just taking a light color and adding it back on to make sure that the light area still stands out. Here I'm going to start highlighting. This is another palette from CoverGirl. Once again, I'm going to link all these uh, palettes down below so you guys know what I'm using and stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm just highlighting with that color. And here you guys saw that I took that color from the Kat Von D palette. Once again, all the names are going to be written down below because I don't know them at the top of my head. But I'm just using them to give a little bit more darkness to the eyes. Now I'm highlighting with the light color that's in that palette as well. Using just a fluffy brush underneath my brows. Um, it's really simple. You just want to highlight. You could even use a white eyeshadow. But I thought that looked good. Here I am doing a slight wing. Nothing too crazy. I don't want it to be too thick. Now I'm just applying my lashes. Um, I don't remember what number these are. You guys are gonna hate me because I don't remember anything. And also I'm filling in my lips with a nudish lip liner. You might wanna go actually with a little bit of a darker one, but this is the darkest lip liner, believe it or not, that I have. And I'm just filling in my lips so that we can prep for lipstick. I'm actually using the lip gloss. I'll be using the, I think it's the Sophia one. This is from uh, Skylark and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lips. You could even use Brave from MAC, but this is the one I decided to go for. And it's just a beautiful color, just fits perfect with the look. Now we're going to go in for blush. You can use a peachy pink color. I feel like a peach color would be a lot better, but I would not with a pink color, should have gone peachy. And I'm just applying that all over the face. Now I'm applying a little bit of a highlight. This is Soft and Gentle by MAC. And be careful with this guys, if you do too much, you can look a little greasy or oily. So I just did a little bit because she looks really glowy. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the look. As you can see, it's really simple. The lips, everything, it just looks amazing. Make sure you guys click the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye everyone.